Ken Volge, Sinman, Not Vegas. You've had a knack for some big goals this season. What is it about you in the big moment? <laughs> I don't really know exactly how to answer that question. Uh, you know, you just keep playing the same way, and, and uh, I guess I've gotten a couple bounces, but honestly, I think that's my first overtime goal, and, and uh, you know, I'm happy it came this time. Eric, we have Jesse Granger, Las Vegas Sun. Obviously, any over any playoff win is big, but just with how much energy you expanded, how how big was it to come out with a win on this one? Absolutely. Uh, I think all of our guys did a great job. Uh, we just kept playing the same way, and that's what we we've been talking about the whole time. You know, going into overtime, uh, we just you know we just stressed it in the locker room to just keep going after him, just keep getting pucks behind him, and just keep playing north, keep keep playing fast. And I think we executed our our game plan tonight. John to the right. John Treat Shelley, Las Vegas. What's that rush like when the moment happens, when you realize that you're going to prevail? That's one of the best feelings uh, in sports, I think, is, uh, is finishing the game. And, and uh, you know, in that fashion, it was, it was a long game. And, uh, and you know, we had, we had a lot of guys, so did they, and we played a lot of minutes. So it's, it's very, very uh, rewarding to come up top. Eric, hi, Steve Carr from the Review Journal. You just talked about James Neal's play of being patient and finding you and it hit you right, uh, right where you needed the puck to make the line score. Absolutely. Um, he's a veteran guy. He's been there. Uh, he, he had a long run last year. Um, he, I thought he played a great game again. Uh, that was the second night in a row. I, I thought he played really well. And, and obviously, you know, he had the composure, hold the puck. Uh, I knew he was going to make that play. It's uh, Maybe that it helps. We've been playing all year. and. And um, I'm happy it worked out. Like I said, he played really well. Nick Cotton again at NHL.com. Did you just break down the rest of it? It looked like you went for a check. Just how did you make the play? Yeah, uh, James made a great pass. Uh, like we talked about, I, I had good speed going in the net, and and, uh, and just you know a couple you know a little pump. I, I still haven't watched it. I honestly, it's <laughs> it's kind of just. I, I was able to just slide a five hole. Uh, I think you know he he reacted. I was coming in a lot of speed, and, and like I said, you know I got lucky and. And uh, I'm very happy with it. No, Brian Blessing, Vegas Hockey Island. Eric, uh, you guys, a ton of shots on quick. Can you talk about, through these first two games, the challenges you're facing with him and, and uh, the high level he's playing at and how you solve him? Absolutely. Uh, two time Stanley Cup champion. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's a great goaltender. And, and we know that. We know that we need traffic. We need a lot of pucks in that. We have to make him feel uncomfortable. And, and uh, we, we've stressed that in the locker room, and, and, and we were able to put some pucks on that tonight. And, and like I said, it just feels good to get the win. Matt Rivaltowski with Forbes. Um, as you indicated with Quick, he had a huge game tonight with 54 saves. Did you feel like it was kind of necessary to make that extra deke there to slide it by him at, at the end? I guess I. I <clears throat> I was coming in with a lot of speed. Uh, was trying to just freeze him for a little bit, and, and uh, you know, I just I, I took what was, what uh, what they gave me. I, I was trying, you know, I, I went by the D-man and coming in alone, and, and, uh, and just you know was able to freeze him a little bit and, and slide a foul. Take a couple more, and then coach will be here. Uh, Shang Peng Hockey Buzz. Hey, Eric. Um, did this game have a different feel than game one? Besides, obviously, the overtime, but. In terms of five up on five on five play, it seemed like there was more space in the neutral zone for you guys to cut through today. Did it feel like that or no? Uh, not really. Uh, I think I think they played played a good game tonight. Uh, we knew they were going to be better and, and uh, they were going to be desperate. And, and uh, you know, we like I said, we just stressed about playing the same way the whole time. You know, that's uh, that's that's worked for us all season long. It's using our speed. We're wearing teams down and, and uh, putting up a lot of pucks and uh, getting traffic in there and, and uh, you know that's that's the thing that we stress and that's what we're going to keep doing. Do two more, Danny, and then finish up with Gary. Danny Webster, NHL.com. Eric, you, this is what you guys have been playing for all year. You've been talking about it for the last couple of months, getting ready for the playoffs. When you go into a marathon game like this, I mean, what's the collective mindset for you guys? Uh, it's just you know we you know they, we you just go to overtime you you try to play the same way you know I thought I thought we played a good 60 minute game we kept pressing and, and uh, you know we just kept talking about it in the locker room you know we don't have to change much just clean it up a little bit and just keep playing playing the same way you know just go after a defenseman make it really hard on them and, and uh, you know I I feel like we did a good job with it you know wearing them down there's a couple long shifts and, and uh, you know long game like that I'm, I'm sure you know it, it wears you down.
Last one, Gary, then we'll have Coach. Hey, Gary Las Vegas Golden Knights. Eric, you're up 2 nothing in the series. You have the opportunity to really kind of take a stranglehold. What's the mentality going into the games in L.A.? We just keep playing the same way. You know, we did our job at home. Now we go there. We go to their building, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's going to be harder. Uh, they're going to be better. We know that, and, and we, have to, we have to be better. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a grind for sure, and, and uh, they're, they're going to come out really hard, I'm sure, in their home building, and that's, uh, you know, that's what you can expect. And we, like I said, we, we have to be a little bit better again. Thanks, everybody.